I'll be going today through traffic studies definition and purpose, the different levels of network analyses, starting from macro all the way to micro, um, transportation network studies, uh, different sizes, dimensions, or types. Uh, we'll be going through a few of the tools and software that are being used in practice, as well as an example on the traffic signal controller. And with that, uh, this begins section one, traffic studies definition and purpose. Traffic studies are detailed investigations of network elements, such as intersections or roadway segments. That is supported by data collection to be able to identify a network challenge or a transportation problem. These are, as I mentioned, are supported by data collection and are initiated by the need of jurisdictions to understand the impact of uh, the different proposed developments on the surrounding transportation network. However, that is not the only reason to initiate a traffic study. Traffic studies are typically initiated for multiple re reasons, including a network-wide study, uh, an update for, on the transportation plan of a specific jurisdiction, and so on and so forth. The process starts with identifying the nature of the transportation issue or problem, which helps in identifying the type of data that will be uh, or that will require uh, collection. Then uh, the actual aspect or question, uh, let's say in this case is operations at uh, intersection one or two, is explored through the use of the collected data as well as in, uh, using different software such as uh, Synchro, developed by Trafficware, Vistro, by PTV, or many others. The study typically would be looking into the challenge and how to address that challenge, whether it's an existing challenge or an anticipated challenge to happen in the future. All of this is summarized in form of a final report that gets submitted to the jurisdiction for the review and approval. Typically, traffic studies are prepared by qualifying professionals. In these cases, for instance, uh, someone with a designation of a professional engineer and approved by Professional Engineers Ontario or a, an approved planner as well. Or under the supervision of a qualified professional who would assume full, a full review and responsibility of the findings of that study. The studies are typically reviewed by jurisdictions who, are, who have their planners and engineers with a similar uh, qualification and level of experience reviewing the uh, traffic, submitted traffic studies. Each jurisdiction guides tra the development of traffic impact assessments and studies uh, through their um, traffic studies guidelines, which are part of a global uh, uh, or a bigger network um, reference documents or plans uh, that are described in that jurisdiction's transportation master plan. In that case, you will have both documents, the traffic impact studies guidelines, as well as the transportation master plans being uh, documents that complement each other in the development of different traffic studies for each jurisdiction. And with that, that ends section two, uh, section one. I'll be moving on to section two, which discusses uh, macro, meso, and micro levels of network analyses. There are three levels of network analyses um, in terms of transport, whether it's in terms of transportation assignment or traffic assignment, or from a traffic analysis perspective. The first level is a macro level and is typically the highest level or a high level analysis or modeling um, over a uh, large network. Typically, these uh, levels of analyses are used for um, traffic demand assignment rather than for uh, studying or investigating network performance. And through these nodes and, and, and those models represent intersections and links represent uh, roadway infrastructure or uh, roadway segments. Typically, this is the least detailed uh, level of uh, analyses in terms of operations. However, it provides good value in terms of uh, being able to deduce or be able to know the traffic demands uh, from 
areas to others or different zones within the jurisdiction. Micro-level assignment, um, when we're talking about it from a traffic assignment perspective, is a dynamic user equilibrium OD where the OD or origin demand matrices are split into much smaller inter intervals, and the network is modeled in very great level of detail. That includes assigning and modeling the um, smallest level of detail that even includes complex areas, traffic uh, uh, detectors, uh, different uh, let's say, transit demands, and so on and so forth. However, the challenge with micro-level modeling is it consumes a significant amount of time to be able to model a network. And that is why it's not typically used to model a bigger jurisdiction. Micro-modeling is typically used to uh, assign traffic at a dynamic level at a much, much smaller scale uh, zones or areas or subdivisions. When we're describing micro-level analyses from the perspective of transportation performance, such as extracting network delays or queuing um, and so on and so forth, and progression, for instance, um, it's the most reliable source uh, or uh, type of network analyses that can be performed to uh, get this information. Typically, micro-level is used at the transportation studies level to be able to present network performance Macro level is typically used in higher level studies and in jurisdiction planning uh, applications. To counter the uh, need for uh, having a higher accuracy or modeling accuracy, as well as being able to run your models faster, uh, different level in between macro and micro is introduced where it has a mixture of the parameters or the uh, features from both models, which increases the speed and the accuracy. Uh, the speed as compared, of course, to the micro assignment level and the accuracy of the modeling as compared to macro level. Of course, the restrictions still uh, vary. So for instance, at the micro level, you are able to model every single network uh, element. However, at the uh, meso level, you are not able to do that at that level of accuracy or extent. In that case, you are, for instance, able to model signal controls, but you cannot have anything other than a fixed um, cycle length and a fixed timing plan in your signaling uh, or in your network. However, at a micro level, you are able to um, implement external signal controllers or adaptive signal controls or timings that can change based on actuation. And that ends the uh, section.